that um, deodorant can be used for other than your underarms. And um, so I'm going to go straight into number six. <laughs> the number six um, thing that deodorant can be used for is basically um, the bottom of your feet. So, you know, you could try it out. If it doesn't work for you, then that's fine. It's not for you. Um, so that step you can basically bypass or, you know, that way you can basically bypass that one. Um, but for those of you who it does work for, what you can do is you can either use the spray um, deodorant or a regular um, stick deodorant. And what you can do is right before you go to bed, you can rub the deodorant on the bottom of your foot bottom. Or you can spray it with the deodorant spray, whatever, you know, which one that you have throughout the day. It reduces and avoids the wetness underneath your feet um, so that it's not so slippery where, it's, where, you know, in shoes and stuff like that. And it also helps avoid with the stinkness of your feet. Or if you're wearing shoes that you more than likely get like blisters, then you can put the deodorant in those certain places like um, the sides of your feet, wherever your toes are that you normally get blisters at, the heel of your foot. Number five. Um, another way that you can use deodorant would be the inner of your legs thighs. or your inner thighs they touch because you wear skirts or you wear dresses, um, like I mentioned already, shorts and stuff like that. So um, sometimes within the inner parts of your thigh, you may get like redness or um, those little fine bumps or chafing. Um, so if you rub the stick of deodorant within your thigh, now, any of these places that I'm going to mention, you don't want to excessively rub the deodorant in that area. Just one swipe, two swipe is good enough. Number four is behind your knees. Um, some people sweat behind their kneecaps. Um, I don't know, like sometimes with any of these places as well, if you put the deodorant there and you just kind of, you just basically kind of like dab with a paper towel, a dry paper towel to kind of take off any access that you may have put on there. Um, then that will kind of be good as well. Number three is going to be basically your heel. Um, I kind of mentioned that already when I mentioned number six with the putting it underneath your foot bottom. Um, but with number three being the heel, basically it's for people who not only um, if you're getting blisters and stuff like that, which sometimes you do get blisters when you're wearing heels or when you're wearing flats in the back of your foot. Um, I, it's kind of like the ankle part. I don't remember what that part is called, but it's by your heel. Um, you could just rub a little bit of deodorant behind there, either before bed or even before you're going out, and that will kind of soothe that area so that it stops the friction so much between your foot and your shoe so that it's not hurting that much or, you know, your foot will be a lot more comfortable. So number two is basically the bikini line. Um, rubbing deodorant within the bikini line is good, especially right after you shave. Um, right after you shave down there. Sometimes you may get, um, some people may get redness, um, some, type of ir ir some type of irritation with ingrown hair or even um, razor burn. If you rub the deodorant in that area, it will stop the ingrown hair issue as well as razor burn. It will soothe that area so that those two issues you won't be having anymore. Um, some places they do sell the VJ deodorant. It's a spray deodorant. Um, that you could just use to spray around that area um, but if you don't have that or you think it's too expensive you could use deodorant it's completely fine you know if some people sweat down there as well some women sweat down there as well and, and men this could be a good tip for you it's not just for the women number one number one would be basically underneath your breasts if you're going out to do activities or errands and you have to be outside and it's pretty hot outside um, you know as some of us with big, bigger boobs, <laughs> you tend to sweat. Now, some, I, I don't know, some women probably don't like to talk about that, or I don't know what, you know, what all that's about. So I guess some women don't like to talk about sweating in the boobage area, um, but it's real. Sweating in the boobs is real. Just like you can sweat anywhere else, you can sweat there too. Um, you can sweat in between there, you can sweat underneath your breast. And um, for those women that that happened to, and it gets a little uncomfortable because um, it, it, you can feel it sometimes where you do certain moves, you can start to feel the sweat, and you know it's not cute to take off your bra, and it's you know sweaty. It, it's not. It's, it's it doesn't feel good, and it's, it's just not a good time. 
It's just not a good time at all. You can test it out and you'll see exactly that it helps with the sweating and so you don't have that uncomfortable feeling when you're out in heat and you're sweating. It eliminates all of that uncomfortableness, okay? Don't use any deodorant that's scented on any part of your body. Now, some people, it probably wouldn't matter, but I'm not gonna recommend that for you to use anything that's scented um, deodorant-wise because number one, you could be sensitive to it and don't even know. You could be sensitive to it in certain areas of your body, so I wouldn't recommend to do it, women or men. Um, number two, is basically to use, if you're gonna use a deodorant stick, I would say to use the one that is the invisible dry. So basically when it dries, it becomes invisible, so it's not showing white or flaky anywhere on your body that you do use the deodorant. The one that I have and the one that I use is the Lady Speed Stick. Now this is not my, I have two of these. Um, this is not my favorite deodorant. Um, my favorite deodorant is the Degree degree for women or degree for men is so I love before this video gets like, any longer uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye